Hi everyone, it's Gina. Welcome to my channel. This project today is for my paper crafters because all we're going to do is cut, glue, and fold paper. And then of course we'll decorate with what we have. This is a Christmas card that you can send, but it has more of a journal feel to it than a regular Christmas card. So you could open it. It has pockets. It has a pocket here where you can write your little message and you flip it over and there's a little belly band in the back and it should fit nicely into an envelope that you can mail for Christmas. If you have any paper crafters on your list to send a card to, they will love this card. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I made it. All right, I'm going to start with a eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And this one came from this little booklet here called Vintage Christmas. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half long ways. One eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper will let you make the card. The only thing that you won't have extra for is the inside. But of course, that doesn't have to match. So I'm going to go now and I'm going to cut it in half long ways. I'll be right back. There we go. Now, if you're like me and have a hard time cutting straight, even with a paper cutter, <laughs> if you have one side that's wider than the other, then you'll want to use the smaller or thinner piece for the first part of this project. And for me, it was this one. This, this one is a little bit bigger, so I'm going to set it to the side and proceed using my smaller piece. I put the mat down so you could see. I'm starting with my smallest piece. I'm going to take one side and fold it about a half an inch. I'm going to take the opposite end and fold it about a quarter of an inch. Okay. Once you've got both sides folded, before you glue these down, you ought to go ahead and fold it over and make sure it matches up or it's pretty close because sometimes if you're like me and you're just you're not measuring you're just kind of winging it and folding it they can be really askew so that when you go to uh, fold it over you have a big gap and, and it's all crooked so it might not be a bad idea to do a quick check just to fold it over and see if you need to make some adjustments like for me, it always matches up down here and then it gets wider this way. So I think I'm going to try to adjust this just a tiny bit and see if I can correct that before I glue it down. All right, that's pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, you want it to look nice. Okay. So now that I know those match, I'm going to glue each little flap down. Now that both sides are glued down, we'll go ahead and fold it over just so that they meet. And you can have a little bit of space between them. That's fine. Before you glue it down, this is going to be my pocket. So I need to add glue along the bottom. So I have glue on this side and glue along just this half. Here's my pocket and I'm going to just punch out a little divot. So our pocket is made. Okay. Now we'll take our bigger piece and I'm just going to fold it in half. And this piece is going to sit on the inside like this. Now what I did on this one, I glued a quarter inch from the top piece onto my pocket so that when you open it, it's glued down and all you have is the pocket. The back, I didn't do that to, but you could. You could go ahead and glue like the quarter inch piece down so when it opened it, it just opened like that. But this one as it stands opens all the way. So you could do whichever one you think is best. I do like that it opens 
and is stuck down here. So I'm going to do that again for sure. So you just make sure that it's in there and it's centered. It's not poking out anywhere. And all I did was I just took a little ruler and just found where that quarter inch is on each side. And then I pushed it back like this. So that tells me where to put my glue. And if you have any folding issues, this is a way where you can cover that. See, I still, even though I made adjustments, I think it shifted when I actually glued it down so that I still have a little wedge here, but that's okay because I can cover it up with my top piece. So where when you open it, that's all you see. Originally, I had only glued about this much. I had left an area at the top and the bottom in case I wanted to punch a hole and string a ribbon through. So that's something uh, to think about also. But I guess you could do that even if it's glued. And I'll probably use my glitter glue. I wanna make sure that I don't get any on the back and just keep it within this folded area right here. So I'm gonna put it in here. Make sure it's fairly centered. Push it in. Push it down. And there we go. Now, that is the basis of your card. Now from there, all you have to do is add whatever kind of decoration you want. And we can add a little card in here where you can write your note and good wishes to your friends or family. But that is the basic construction of the card. Now that it's made, I want to decorate it and create the insert that'll hold my personal message. Now, I have more of this paper and I could pull it out and cut it down to make a pocket that matches, but I think what I'm going to do is pull from the background, which is black. I have some black paper and I think I'm gonna make a pocket out of that. I think it would work really well. And that's just a solid surface so I can add whatever kind of embellishments I want and I know it's going to look pretty good. Now on this one, before I put this together, when it was just all laying down flat, it's white on this side. And so I just took a stencil with some Distress Oxides and added a little pattern so that it wasn't stark white. I have already glued this one together, but I can still do it. You can always take some more pretty paper and glue it to this side. So you do have options. For this, I'll just leave it white and add my pocket and embellishments from there. I'll need to cut my paper to create my pocket. I cut my pocket just shy of one and three quarters by just shy of four and three quarters. There is room, a little bit of room on each side so that I know it'll fold over and it won't be in the way and it won't stick out on the outside. I don't think I need to notch it because it's such a low pocket. I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down on the three sides. There we go. Now the back, you can add another pocket. I'm um, thinking maybe a belly band though. I decided to stick with the solid black for my belly band. I really like the idea of having that black background. Okay, it's four and a quarter inches wide, so I cut my belly band just shy of four and a quarter. So now I have my pocket and my belly band in place. Now I want to make my insert card. My insert card will measure four by three and a quarter. It's plenty of room to see that it's in there and it gives you a place to grab. And that's plenty of room to write a personal message. So I put together how I want to decorate it. And I went ahead and put some pieces together just to save time for the video. And honestly, it was not me creating anything. It was just gluing. But now we're going to put it all together. Here's the first piece. These pieces came from the kit and all I did was glue the three trees, arrange them and glued them together. And then I glued the whole piece to the uh, black piece of cardstock and cut around it. 
that's going to go right here. And the Seasons Greetings also came from that kit, and I did the same thing. You'll see that I've put a black piece of cardstock behind everything, just to make it pop. So I'm going to place that in the front. We have to be careful because this opens. So I don't want to put it too far on the left because it will bend. So let's glue that down. Oh, that's cute. Now the inside we have our pocket. And that needs a little something right here. So I put together what's basically a cluster. And I have some cheesecloth on the back. And this piece I popped out of here. There's a green one and a red one. And so I popped out the red one. And I cut it to fit. And this was also a piece of that laser cut ephemera. And I glued that on there. And now we just need to place it here. Now that that's down, some of the cheesecloth was poking out, so I am going to trim that off. Oh, that's so cute. For this space, I have these two little ornaments. All I did was use a circle punch and punch out of the black cardstock just to make them pop and then just glued them together. I have these little thin pieces that were scraps that were on my desk and I just thought that would look really cute like they were hanging down. Oh, that is so cute. I love that. I've had these on the front. I've had them on the back of this page. I've, I've had them all over because they are just so cute. But this is where they ended up, and I think it works really well. This side, I'm going to put this piece. And I did the same thing with this sentiment that I did with the one in the front. I need to glue this one down at somewhat of an angle because of the way the houses sit. If I were to glue it straight down like this, it looks like the houses are falling over. So the way it was drawn, it really needs to sit like this. I need to glue it down, but make sure I leave room down here for my little sentiment that says Christmas Town. There we go, very cute. Here's our little belly band. For this little piece, I just put together, I'm not even sure really what it is, <laughs> but I thought it was cute. And I just took one of these labels that came from that kit and this little piece, the little line that goes down, was just a scrap piece of paper that was on my desk. And these are buttons that were also part of the laser cut ephemera. I mean, I think it looks cute. I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> But it's just a little cute decoration. So I'm going to glue this down now. There we go. So we need the piece in the center that goes in our pocket where we're going to write our little note. And here is that piece. I have rounded the edges. I did take a little bit of a ribbon and feed it through the top. I thought that was kind of cute. It gives a little hint that something is in here. Let me show you the back. Put, cut out a white piece of card and uh, rounded the corners and glued that on. Made stamp on here just to kind of give it a little oomph because it is a little plain right now. This will go in here like this. Let me push it all the way down. There you go. So it has a little tag that pops up. It is a sticking out a little bit now. I think because it's fraying a bit on the edges because I had already cut it down to where it didn't show. There. Oh, that's so cute. I think that turned out really cute. But I'm not quite done with this one. There is actually a little more gluing to do. When I was looking at this, it looks a little bare on this side and then a little light over here. Plus, it just looks like something glued on top of something else. So I want to try to cover that up a little bit. And there were these two little partial pieces. And I'm going to use these to put on top just to give it more of a finished look. That looks really, really cute. This side, however, is quite bare. Now, if you knew what you wanted to write and knew how many lines, 
You could take a green marker and put some lines on here or stamp lines. But I do want to add a little holly stamp. Rubber stamps on the wood block to me are difficult, especially like this when the image is so far contained within the wood block. I kept having to kind of look to the side to make sure I knew where it was going to stamp. Um, clear stamps are so much easier. It is so much easier to make sure you're in the right position. But this is really cute stamp. And if, you, if you're careful, you can figure it out. Take a second and just go in and add just a little bit of color. There. Oh, look how cute that is. That came out really well. So let's put it in. Like that. There. Now we have a couple of blank places. We have our pocket and we have our belly band. Something you could do if this is from your family, you could have little cards. Uh, like this came with the ephemera. It's like a little notebook. Like maybe you're sending this to your grandma. You could write something on the card. Maybe you could have your kids write a personalized message to grandma on little cards and you could stick in here or your husband. Same thing back here. Or you could add just a few cute pieces of Christmas ephemera. And that's what I'm going to do here. Especially if the person receiving this is a crafter, that would be a great little gift to give them as well. So from years gone by, previous uh, kits, I've gotten these little cards. Now these are really cute. I like this one because it has a dark background and we're working with black as our base color. So that's cute. This one, you can slide back here. Let's see, this is a little piece of ephemera too. It was in the kit. I feel like we need something else back here. Something else with red that ties into that. Uh, I think I could force it, but I'll go ahead and take a little off the top. I was just editing this video when I realized the last portion did not record, which is unfortunate because now I have to finish the video with my hurt boo-boo finger. <laughs> I cut myself pretty badly. Went to the urgent care where they threw in some stitches, so I'll be a little limited in my crafting for a little bit. But anyway, so I cut a little bit from the top and the bottom from the Santa, and I did go in and round the corners. And I switched out the sleigh with this picture of the truck. So there we go. And I think that looks really cute. So let's take a look at this from start to finish. The front of our card, Season's Greetings. We open it up to see this pocket with the Santa and some ephemera. These absolutely adorable little baubles. Christmas wishes and it's a wonderful life. What's this? You pull out this card and it's got this beautiful image on the front and a place for a personal note on the back. We'll put that back in here. Come this way and we have the Christmas town, little scenery, and we have these really cute little Christmas cards. Now, the back, you could put a little bit of paper back here if you want to add some additional writing space, or you could just leave it as it is. So there we go. That is it. That is our Christmas card, especially designed for you paper crafters out there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button. And if you've seen a few of my videos and enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.